PHP Storm 8 introduces support for the Blade template engine, used with the Laravel framework. Let's see what this means. Whenever we open a .blade.php file, PHP Storm will recognize it as a Blade template and provide syntax highlighting, as we can see on screen. All the different constructs are highlighted. We can clearly identify HTML, Blade directives, variables and so on. Code completion is available as well. Let's print the message variable here. Braces are completed and all available variables are shown as well, even in for and for each loops. Directives are completed too and we can even define custom directives through the settings. For example, let's add a datetime directive which takes one parameter and invokes the format function. Do note this does not define the directive in our application. It simply tells PHP Storm how to validate the directive and highlight its usage. After saving, PHP Storm will now provide our custom directive during code completion. The section directive denotes a specific section in a template. PHP Storm lets us collapse and expand sections so we can focus on the parts of a template we are working on, hiding unnecessary clutter. Speaking of sections, if we remove the stop directive here, an inspection will tell us the section is not closed. We can navigate to other templates as well, including the directories they are created in. If we want to navigate to the site templates folder, we can use navigate to on that part of the template name. Same thing for layouts here. See how the project tool window opens the correct directory? Of course, we can also navigate to the template itself. With find usages, we can easily find where a template is used in our project. The keyboard shortcut or the context menu will open a new tool window in which we can see where, for example, our default template is being used. Give Blade support a try and check our other screencasts to learn more about PHP Storm. Thank you for watching. Until next time.